I would say that clearly the biggest risk of pure nicotine, and now I'm just talking about it through the lens of synthetically acquired nicotine, so you're getting rid of all the tobacco related processing, is uh, in its addictive nature. And make no mistake about it, nicotine is highly addictive. There are some other areas where depending on the dose, there may actually be a harm. Again, I think this is very important to understand. There are some mechanistic insights that suggest a negative uh, impact on the endothelium. And it's certainly plausible that anything that negatively impacts the endothelium could increase the risk of cardiovascular disease. But the closest thing that we could find in um, in humans was a 2024 Mendelian randomization. This is a complicated MR, but it is the closest thing I think we have to looking at humans. And it's looking at how much people smoked, how quickly they metabolized nicotine, trying to do an overlay of that to, to, to appreciate the nicotine exposure. And it came away basically saying that the harm of smoking is due to the tobacco and tobacco related products, not due to the nicotine. I wanna be clear, this is way, way far away from what you would want to be able to say is level one evidence, right? If you wanted to do this in a level one fashion, you would actually have to randomize people to a whole bunch of different tobacco-free nicotine products and study the outcomes of interest. Now, of course, nobody's going to do that for hard outcomes like mortality, uh, but I certainly think people could do that for softer outcomes. Um, uh, and, and, and my hope is that, that somewhere along there, people, people do that.